I always wanted to be a world heavyweight champion professional. Anything less was a failure in my eyes. And ever since, from being 14 years old, I never ever for one day doubted myself. I don't believe in waiting for things. I don't wait for nothing in my life, I take it while I can. And it was all about winning belts and being a champion. But when you've done all that, what's it about then? I see another thing on Mike Tyson recently and he said, these belts are worthless pieces of shit. They mean nothing. And he said, I sacrificed my life for this rubbish. For what? I'd wake up and I think, why did I wake up this morning? This is coming from a man who had everything, money, fame, glory, titles, a wife, a family, kids, everything. I didn't care about living, I just wanted to die. I used to drink and take drugs to get away from the depression. I don't suffer with mental health when I'm active, when I've got a goal. And I think most people will vouch for this. If you suffer with mental health problems, you tend to suffer them when you're on your own, when you've got a lot of time to think, and when you're not doing much. But when you're busy on a daily basis, you don't have enough time to think about mental health. And I figured out, well, if I exhaust myself in the gym, I come home when I'm too tired to think about anything, I just want to get some food and go to bed. I'm against taking pills and stuff to get better. I knew the moment I started taking pills to help me with her life, then it was over. It may as well have been dead. When you don't train, you feel depressed. But if I train every day and I'm staying in shape, then I'll be happy forever. And I believe it's the best, best way to live anyway. Best way to live is fit and healthy. When you're out of shape and you feel unfit and you feel terrible, then nothing's going to go right for you. Right. But if you feel fit, you feel good. If you put your body through torture, you can't expect to feel great. Often I've went to the gym not wanting to be in the gym and felt like shit, but then had the best training session in my life. That's happened many, many times. Until you're actually working out and get into the, into the groove, I don't think you can really know what you're going to feel like until you start training, because mm. if you went on how you felt before the gym sometimes, then you won't be in the gym at all. Every time I go to the gym and do a little bit of training, whether it be a lot or a little, I always go out of a shower and I think, I feel great now. Training sets off an endorphin in your blood that makes you happy. Contentment is the word we're looking for. Contentment doesn't come through material stuff, jobs, positions, fame, glory, money, anything. Contentment, you'll never find contentment while you're chasing that sort of stuff. I think the, the way to beat mental health is setting goals, giving yourself short-term and long-term goals. What you're saying is so powerful that you, just by virtue of changing the way you think about things, setting goals, working hard, you lifted yourself out of the worst depression of your life to the point where you were suicidal. I fight because of... I don't know anything else. I've always been a fighter, from being born to being 30 years old now. It's all I love to do. I don't have any other passion. Ready for a war! I'm not orientated by material things and, and all that sort of stuff. It means nothing to me. I don't even care about glory and honour. I don't care about legacies. I don't care about winning titles or, or, or medals. It doesn't matter. But when I set my mind to doing something, I'll do it. And every single time I've ever set my mind to anything, I've done it. Even the unthinkable things, if I set my mind to it, I've done it. My message would be, look around yourself and be thankful for what you do have today. Don't look for what you don't have. You know, you've got to be, ha be happy with who you are. A wise man once said, you've got to know yourself before you can know anybody else. Study yourself, try and understand yourself. 
think what makes you happy and do that and what makes you sad, don't do it. It's very simple, really. I don't fear no man. I don't fear being knocked back out or even killed. I don't fear nothing. I can't guarantee I'm going to wake up in the morning. God says we're not promised tomorrow, so live for today, so that's what I do. And I don't look at this as a comeback. Because I'm not coming back to what I once was. This is a new me. This is a new Tyson Fury. This is a new book. I ain't going back to rewrite an old story. That book finished. It never, ever, ever was opened again. The legacy of Tyson Fury from a child to being a heavyweight champion of the world and achieving his dreams, that book has been closed. What do you want to achieve, whether in boxing or through boxing? Do you know what I want to life? achieve? Happiness. I want to be happy and I want to stay healthy. Because when you lose your happiness, your health declines. And when your health declines, <laughs> game over. So when boxing's over, you're going to train still? Every to day, for, it. for the rest of my life. Pumping that iron. I'm going to aim to be looking like The Rock. Just a six foot nine version of him. I wouldn't be alive today if I didn't change my life. I definitely wouldn't have made it. Being a fat, lazy bum with millions in the bank, there's no life at all. Being hungry and fit and being a lion in the middle of a jungle, that's life.